Hey there, it's Sherry from Cub Scout Ideas, and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you some of the options that the kids will have available within BitsBox to use in their games. Um, they're called assets, and the asset panel is the two little boxes that look like they're overlapping each other. First, we see fills. Fills, in, in my mind, what I think of as fills are kind of like backgrounds. So you can put pretty much any background that you want in here. There's just so many. Let me show you just one or two of my favorites. I like Island. This is very cool. And I like the mazes too. So you could build a game where a character or an object needs to get out of the maze. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see there, there are lots and lots of different choices here. The next type of asset that we have are stamps. And stamps are basically images. And again, this even has more options than, than we have in fills. We've got an alien. Just so many things here. One of my favorites is this, our little Boy Scout here. And we continue to scroll. Dinosaurs and dogs and spaces, cars, frogs, hats. You can make a hat dance in this program. I'll show you one of, my, uh, one of the things that I know is going to be quite popular with our guys. And that is Steve. He, he looks like the Minecraft Steve, but he also looks like he might be a, a Lego minifig there. Love my zombie here. I think this is a very cool zombie. So as your kids are looking through these, they're, they're likely to come up with some ideas just by looking at that. Oh, what could I do with an alligator? Colors. It shows you all the different colors that you can have in your game or in your app. Sounds. There are lots of sounds. You can have balloons. Um, you can have, let's see, bird sounds. One that I know will be popular with the with the boy crowd is the, yep, the toilet flushing. You have songs that you can add to your game. So depending on what the game is, there's very cool songs that can be in the background. Under commands, these are the things that, the, the actions that you can build into your app. So for example, if I want to fill, if I want to use that city background, I would click on that if I wanted to use island. And there's my island. A couple of the uh, cool things that you can do is you can make things dance. Here is a dancing robot. But you know what? I'm going to let our little zombie dance. That just looks funny to me. But again, there's um, you can have uh, things explode. This will be popular. So our kids just need to hop into BitsBox and play around. Look at the different things that they've got available to them. Look at some of the commands and, and use their imagination to come up with a very cool game.